Hello, gents. Ryan here. Hello, gents. It's me, your old mate, Ryan, SteamFan61. Sorry for it's been a long while since my last um, video. Um, the reasons for which I will go into at the end of the video before I sign off. Um, but, yeah, um, I'll go for that at the end of the video. Um, but yeah, now basically, um, just gonna make some adjustments camera wise. Is that too? No, that's too bright now. Just making some camera adjustments, gents. So, um, yeah. Um, and the reason, and that we one of the reasons why. The um and the other reason that's the other that'll be one of the that one of the also another one of the other another reason why I won't be um why I haven't been here uh been doing any videos for the last year and a half uh towards the end of last year sort of thing but anyway I'll go through at the, at the end of the video so now I finally have an update for you on my Tamiya 135th scale um, Tiger One Tiger One mid production. Before I do, usual shout outs to Model Pro 72 Lenny Atomic Dog uh, Atomic Dog 32 Brian Aaron Newsings Alex Modeling Cleedon Lewis Shane Highland. Um, Nigel Wells, Cohen C, Mark O'Neill, um, Empire Armor Empire, um, that is Mark O'Neill, um, Waterloo seven four five, John Warren Blanche, Lon seven five seven, Lon seven five seven, Vaz Tech and Vaz Guy and Spartak, Master HQ, Dead Ram. Tom, um, Master HQ, uh, A to Z Kits, Mr. Z A to Z Kits, Z A, uh, A to Z Kits, Airfix Freak, Mr. Mosquito WS, Trainboy 220, Golden Eagle, Crazy Kit Builder, Crazy Modeler, The Char Modeler, UK Scale Modeler, Ian, um, uh, Charles Scale Models, um, Mr. Great Models, dude. Looking forward to your uh, looking forward to um, whenever you do your next video or whenever I next see you where you work, but I won't disclose where. Um, uh, Engineer Dance Side, um, Mus VV, Paul Marsh, Panzer Yaga 1944, Steve Mottram, and Impossible, and Impossible Girls Diaries, and um, I think that's it. Facebook shout outs wise, you know, you all, you know, you you all know who you are, and you and you all know that I'm grateful that you that you've um, subscribed to me and supported me over the years. Those of you who've been subscribed to me for a long while. Um, and those who are no, those who know if you are new to the channel, welcome aboard, and I'm grateful for your subscription. Um, Facebook shoutouts: Dan, Mary, Ellie, Mika, Kelsey, Kira, Kelsey, Kira, Mum, Haley, Betty, June, Greg, Lynn, June, Greg, Lynn, Lenny, Ashley, Ashley, Gary Williams, Ashley's other half, Gary. Um, John, 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 Joe, George, John, 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 Joe, Luke, Lisa, Lucy, Debbie, Diggs, Miss you, Nan, Miss you, Nico, Charlotte, cheers for speaking to me to last week, cheers for speaking to me last week, hopefully I'll speak to you next week, and obviously the only final two Facebook shout-outs are Jenny and Kai. 
Um, other than that, now that's all the way. Now all the Facebook shout outs and all the YouTube shout outs are out of the way. Time to go to the tiger. Anyway, gentlemen, here is the, if I can get it in close enough, the tiger. Here's, here she is, gents. Here's the tiger now. Um, obviously, since the last time, the last time you say you saw this, um, you saw this, gents, obviously she was still in um, their plastic shoes. Obviously, the zimmer it had been applied and it was still in the, but where the zimmer it hadn't been applied, it was still the bear. Um, plastic, um, the, the the kit plastic, it was still in, it was still, it was just pretty much the zimmer over the kit, uh, it was pretty much the kit plastic had been unpainted, um, had been, the kit should been fully assembled but not painted yet. Now I've got her fully painted and with her commander in, and with her commander on, um, and with the commander in on the tank. And the commander's obviously on the tank. Um, painting, obviously, paint-wise, I painted the uh, the I painted her in um, the base coat was of um, of Humbrol, uh, not Humbrol, of Tamiya XF60, which is um, dark yellow. And then I done obviously the camouflage is 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 Tamiya. Um, to me, uh, XF sixty one dark green. The commander, the commander, um, his uniform is predominant. Is pre uniform from what you can see of it is XF XF is XF one is to me XF one flat black. The shirt, the sh his shirt, his uniform is is. His shirt, the top of his, the top, uh, the collar of his shirt, and his hat is um is is to me a German uniform grey. I can't remember the um the the colour number. And then of course the only, and then of course his face is 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 flat flesh, which is uh, again I can't remember the to the to the the um his face and his hands are flat flesh. Uh, it's flat. As in flat, meaning matte flesh. Um, I can't remember the um, the, uh, the 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 cut the paint number for for that um, at this very moment. So yeah, um, I'll just rotate him around. Um, you're not going to probably pick this up, but the sideburns on his. Is is hair I done it in to in Humbrol X in Humbrol, um, in Humbrol Dark Earth because that's the sort of that's the closest color I had to. Um, his hair looked like on the box, got like gents. His hair looks like like a chop like a chocolate brown, you know, like like a yeah, you know, a chocolate brown sort of color. So I just used and I'll see dark earth is the closest colour to chocolate brown. The only the colour the other colour I was gonna use is is red brown, but that's a that's that's much that's more of a rusty red brown that's much more of a rusty brown colour than a than chocolate brown sort of thing. So yeah, that's the uh that's the um so yeah, uh, see if I can get an angle on this thing. I'll see this, and then also the only um, see if I can lift uh, the barrel a bit. Lift the barrel and angle the turret. Um, don't knock the laptop, Roy. 
doesn't help with filming, does it? No, it doesn't. Um, uh, I don't know if you're going to see these very well. I'll try and get these in for you as much as I can. Um, obviously, the only other thing, and the only other thing I've added since then is to the the vehicle is the tools which is the um the shovel here which which the the actual scoop part of the shovel is 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 to me a um metallic gray which is i can't remember which is xf it's which is x56 xf 56 i think the the wooden handle is the wooden handle is is obviously xf um the wooden handle is xf 62 which is um xf 62 which is xf 62 which is uh red brown and obviously the clamps are meant to be the clamps are meant and the clamps are meant to be XF and the clamps are meant to be X and the clamp and the clamps and the clamps actually hold it down to the actual um, vehicle to the the, the upper, mid upper plate is our our dark green which is XF sixty one and dark yellow which is xf60 and that's the same for the if i can get it in focus the the axe the the axe and the hammer the axe and the hammer which are on the the mid upper plate which are on the end, which are on the top roof, which are, which are on the roof deck, and that's and that's also the same for holding in the the track jack block there. Um, you can probably also see the G clamps, the one of the two G clamps, and if I can angle the turret a little bit more. You can also see the um, the other. You can see the spade that's just that sits just in front of the turret. I've angled the turret, gent, so and lady, so you can actually see that because with the turret rotor, with, with the turret with the gun pointing to the front of the, of the tank, you can't really see this uh, the shovel well because obviously it sits right underneath the um, the. It, it sits right underneath the gun it re, it sits right underneath the gun mantlet so yeah that's the the tool so they're the tools on the front the only tool the only other tool you can see gents and i'll try and get this in focus for you are the bolt coppers are the are the bolt lock um are they are the um are the lock breakers are the lock break what look are the bolt croppers uh the lock bolt lock um lock cutters bolt break lock breakers that's what they are the lock breakers and again there in um the lock breakers are a, the lock but that that's the lock breaker is in um is in is in um metallic gray the clamp for the lock breaker is dark green is dark is dark green the clamp for the lock breaker is in dark green so yeah um if i can rotate this now to the gun the gun to the front then i can show you 
the rest of the vehicle. On this side, it's a little bit hard to see given the fact the turret, um, the the as you can see, as you, as you can see on this side, you've got the As you can see on this side, you've got the you've got the side mounted. You've got the side mount. You've got the you've got one of the three tow key tow cables mounted on the mate mounted on the side of the hole there, and it runs the whole length. Obviously, it runs the whole length of the hole, um, the side plate, uh, the side the side armor. Um, that is in XF. Is in XF fifty six in XF in um in in metallic grey in metallic grey um as are the spare track links as are the spare track links on the turret as are the spare track links on the turret. And as you can see, and they, they, the see thing is, Jeds, because that's metallic grey, they'll look darker than it actually is. And obviously, I've got the turret, um, the commander's hat, the, the commander's epola in the open position, so that will make it darker. Now, I'm trying my best to give you a decent view of the engine deck, of the top deck tow cables now just bear with me don't know if you can see them well but there's the tow cables they start off at the front and they lead all the way to the back um they're in uh they're in there uh, the tow cables on this side the tow cables on this side are in XF, uh, are in metallic grey, like the um, like the spare track links, and the tow cables on the, on this side of the hull. The 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 towing uh, the tow the towing cable eyelet clamps are in the clamps that hold down the towing eyelets to the. So the hull are in X are in XF sixty one, uh, dark dark green and an XF sixty dark yellow on this side. On this side, and then the the clamps that hold the the clamps that hold both the the towing cable, the start the. The start of the towing cable behind the towing eyelets that also hold in the gun cleaning rods are on this side are XF60 and XF61. And also, as you can see, the towing cable goes right the way to the rear of the vehicle. So I'll go, so I'll rotate the vehicle round now so you can see what, so you can see the. The vehicle from the rear as you can see i've got the, the the tow cables from the rear and then you've got the other set here and then you've got the other one here um rear plate come around keep it steady on the rear plate you've got the second You've got the second. Um, uh, you've got the same. Obviously, you've got the camouflage pattern on the rear plate, but you've got the second G clamp with the with the second G clamp with this with the dark yellow with with its clamp holding it in place. The G clamp, like the the second G clamp, like the one on the the engine on the on the roof deck, is the is. Um, is XF is is metallic black is metallic grey with the 
with the with dark with the dark yellow with its dark yellow um, clamp that holds it with it, with its cl the G clamps clamp if that makes sense that holds it to the the back to the rear plate. You've got the inertia. You've got the inertia start. You've got the you've got the inertia starter. Um, you've got the place where you put the you've got. You got the in. You got the um, the bit that puts the inertia start that you put the the the, the hand the starting handle for the inertia starter, for the, the for the inertia starter, in between the two um, exhaust pipes, which of course because where it is it's difficult to show because it's shadowed by two exhaust pipes, obviously, as are, and then of course you've got the inertia starting handle. You've got the inertia starting handle. I'm having to point the tank, put its tank on the barrel here so you can guys can see this. Um, yes, yeah, so that's the inner, just that's the starting handle there. And then you've got, and then here, if you can see it, you've got the track jack, which is in XF60. The track jack, which is an exit, which is in is in um, metallic grey, and that's mounted to the rear plate. Um, obviously, you've got the handle there that's up against the the exhaust the exhaust shroud. On this side of the vehicle, you've got. The towing cable but you've also got the fire extinguisher now i don't really know germ how german fire extinguishers were painted gents so i just decided to paint the fire the fire extinguisher red with a silk with the silk with the brit that the um with the bit that the obviously the the whatever whatever's in the fire extinguisher that fights the fire with if that mate that you fight the fire with um comes out of silver um if you could correct me on what color to paint fire extinguishers on german tanks that'd be grateful so so i know for the next for when i build my um for when i build whenever i build it i next build a tiger a another tiger another tiger one um and that would be grateful so i'll be grateful of that for of you guys um the only other like i say you've got the towing cables again the towing cable on this side is in dark um is in metallic gray with the dark yellow With the dark yellow, um, with the dark yellow clamps that hold the start of the towing cable in, the start of the towing cable behind the the towing eyelets in, uh, the, the behind the start of the towing cable behind the towing eyelets in onto the deck, and then again like the other side, in between the towing cables you've got the gun clean, you've got the gun, you've got the gun cleaning rods, which are those little of those rods those very finely those those rods there um that are in between the two tone cables and obviously you've got the spare trap the two spare trap links on this side of the turret on the front of the hull you've probably seen it already but um I've probably, you've probably seen them already but obviously you've got the two towing eyelets on this side of the hull as well um i think both are Well, one's in dark green. One is in dark green. One is in dark. Is it, is one one of the clamps that hold one of the the two clamps that holds the that holds the towing eyelet onto the onto the the roof deck. The roof deck armor is is dark green. The other one's meant to be dark green, but I think I for some reason I forgot to paint it. Uh, I can make that's a proper adjustment. I will, will make. 
before you next see this, and before you see this, and before you next see this in the final reveal. Um, and of course, the only other thing that's on the tank, of course, is the the command the um, the commander's cupola mounted um, machine gun and the MG. The the commander's cupola the 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 cupolas the cupola mounted um, MG forty two. The the bar the actual the breech and the barrel of, of the machine gun is painted in in, in Tamiya gun metal, which is is which in Tamiya gun metal, which is XF, which is Tamiya X ten, and then the actual the stock that you the the, the machine guns stock that you actually rest your shoulder into that the commander would rest his shoulder into is XF is XF sixty two um red brown. Now see you've seen the whole of the upper the, to the top of the tank. If you you've actually seen all the tank. The only other part I haven't shown you is the road wheels and the tracks. Um the road wheels as you can probably see from there from here they are pretty much the same pattern as the as the as the hull. Base colour was obviously I, I don't know if I've covered this in a in, in one of the final update, but the, the base colour is obviously XF is XF the base colour is XF sixty and then you've got the XF sixty one dark green camo pattern um camo pattern on the road wheels. And obviously then you've got the red, then you've got the black, the 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 rubber. You've got the side rubber tires on the outside of the of, of the of the road wheel rim on the outside of the road wheels, which is XF, which are all painted in XF six in XF in XF one, which is matte black. And then the only other, and that's and that's that's the same on 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 this side as it is on the other side. And you'll see then the tracks, which you can see from the front. The rear with the hull up, I can go up like that. And I'll see, I'll see you wouldn't, obviously, you'll see you wouldn't, obviously, normally speaking, you don't tip a tank on its nose to see the tracks, but just so, so you guys can see my tracks, uh, my vehicle, the track, the, my tank's tracks. Um, the their XF uh from the rear there um obviously the tracks are XF like the spare track links uh the spare track links on the turret are XF uh 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 XF fifty six metallic gray uh, metallic gray from the front that's from the back from the sides obviously you can see the track. Um, to a degree, and from the other side, So you've seen the two side views, so I'll just give you another view from the front for you guys, so, so you guys can look at the vehicle with all its glory. A close up, a close, a close view, a close range view. Now, if you can see, if you can probably see, there's a slight. The the, the 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 front the the the, the gun back the eighty eight millimeter gun barrel is slightly angled. That's because when I was sanding, I I I, I don't know if I mentioned this in the final in the final assembly update, but when I was sanding the barrel gents, I accidentally um obviously I what I'd done it was my it was my fault really um I didn't let the barrel cure fully and I started sanding the seam line on the barrel, and it started. <laughs> snapped slightly and started pointing downwards so i then had to fix glue it and of course the only way i could glue it 
with it not drooping with the barrel not drooping is is by gluing it so that it's straight straight going sort of straight and level straight level in terms of vertically in terms of vertically speaking but horizontally it's slightly angled the barrel's slightly angled to the the barrel slightly slightly angles on this side so yeah i'll just give you another close in view of the vehicle from the front angled from the front side view angled towards the rear view rear elevated rear view side view other side view angled other front other side angled front view other side angled to the front towards the front view um see if i can give you a roof of what obviously normally you wouldn't see a tight or you wouldn't see it no one displays these vehicles like their vehicles like this but this is what it looks like from the top from a, this is what the vehicle look like looks like from a top that from a top from a top down view obviously you can't see much because obviously the turret covers most of the um of the of the hull of the carries most of the hull but you can see pretty much see what you you can pretty much see the majority of all the equipment around the hull even if some of it's hidden by the turret all right So while I'll give you one more frontal on look to look at this while um, while I explain to you guys what I'll be doing, what why what, what I'll be giving you this, I'll give you this uh, one, I'll give you, I'll let you have a look at this in all its glory from the front while I explain. Um, so while 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 I give you, and I'll see you won't see me, you won't see another update from me till. Um, thingy that I always do so I'll get on with that now um, obviously you won't see the, uh, no, the next update you'll see on me you know, the next video you'll see from me on this will be the final reveal um, with the decals on um, I'm, and I don't know obviously I don't know when that will be I'm hoping to do it I'm hoping to get the decals on this afternoon Gents, I'm hoping to get the, vehicle, the decals on this afternoon, so you might get the video this afternoon. If not, you'll get it either tomorrow morning, or you'll either get the, t the you'll you'll get you'll get you might get the video. I might shoot the video this afternoon um, with the, the final reveal this afternoon, or if failing that, it'll be tomorrow afternoon, uh, tomorrow morning, or tomorrow afternoon. So you you will definitely get the fun. So gents, you'll probably you'll get. You'll get this the final update for the final update before the final reveal um, tonight. But I don't know. But you and you might get a bonus video, a, bo a bonus video of the of the final reveal tonight as well. Um, that I don't know yet. But when you do, obviously you will. But obviously you'll get the video. What I'm trying to say is you will get now. You will get. You you will finally see. This build, this this Tiger One um, build finished, right? So now I said all that. Now it's, it's time to go back to my ugly mug, and now you guys are going to find out why there's not been a video, why you guys haven't seen me for a well since um well almost a year uh since uh since April last year was my last video. If I can't if I um. <laughs> If I remember correctly from when I uploaded my last update on the tiger, on this tiger anyway. Right, 
Now, you're probably all wondering why there's not been a video from me for, well, since last April. Good, simple reason. Um, obviously, when I, obviously, when I, um, when I, when I, when I finished, when I, when I done the last video, after I'd uploaded the last, my last video in April, um, obviously then I went to the, um, obviously then I went to, uh, to Belgium for a week for the Battle of the Bulge, um, tour, I did, and you go over all, on you go all around the Ardennes, um, you, you know, you go to, obviously you go to Arken, which is on, you go to Arken, in Bel in Belgium, you go to Arken in Belgium, which which you you, you go to the Henri Chapelle Cemetery in Belgium. You go to loads, or you go to all over all over Bel all over the Ardennes region of Belgium. So you go to, you know, we went. Oh, you know, I went. Um, you know, I went to the uh, the down the the American Cemetery at uh, Henri Chapelle Arken. Which is right on the border between Belgium and Germany. Um, you know, we went to Bastogne, Bastogne, uh, Bastogne, Bastogne. However, you know, want want to pronounce it. Um, you also, we walked, went to Bastogne, La Roche, uh, Cells, Le Glaise, where there's a where there's still uh, Grand Manel, Le Glaise, Grand Manel. Um, and in those places I just meant in all the places we mentioned there was there's there's loads of memorials to the American um to the America to the like to the America all the American units that were in Belgium um you know throughout the Ardennes region but obviously in Le Glaise Grand Le Glaise Grand Manel and Cells there are there are there's there's obviously in the glaze there's a tiger too uh, there's a king tiger there's a king tiger um production turreted t king tiger target turret number 104 that's been that was knocked out there it was knocked out obviously in that area in december of 44 um obviously during the battle um and it's still there to this day as are the Panthers in Grand Manel and the Panther in Cells. Um, obviously, the Panther in Cells is quite, you, you, you can't miss it really, because it's just literally the hull and the turret, the road wheels have been taken away. Um, but during the battle, obviously, it, um, during the battle, it, um, it had its floor blown out underneath it because it went over a mine. Uh, same with the one in, um, uh, but not, not 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 actually not the same. The the one in Grand Manel was disabled, as well as in when I say disabled, I mean knocked out, knocked out disabled, not knocked out disabled. You know, in other words, it couldn't move. It got hit and it couldn't move afterwards. Um, yeah, so and that was a good trip. I'd go, I'd, I'd you know, I'd go on that with the trip, but it'd take me forever to go to cover all the places that we went to. But if you are in, but gents, if you do go on that tour, if you do go to Belgium and you go in the Ardennes region and you go to the Ardennes region, go to um, off the top of my head, go to the December, go to the December forty four museum. That's a brilliant museum they've got there. Um, as is the the 101st Airborne Museum in Bastogne, and the and the, the and the Battle of the Bulge Museum that they've got in Bastogne as well. In Bastogne as well, um, that's just outside Bastogne. It's not actually in the town. It's actually not in the city. It's not in the. It's not actually in the town centre. It's not actually in. Ba it's not actually in Bastogne town centre. Um, it's just outside. Um, La Roche, 
they've got the La, the Roche has got a good museum as well. That's got um, that's got a really good museum, La Roche actually. It's you know uh, I keep you know I keep saying really good, but honestly, when you from what I remember the museum the museums that we went into over there are really good, well laid out. Um, I see they're a little bit more different from Brit from the Brit. See, I don't know you. I know, I know you guys know me. Obviously, you guys that follow me in the UK know most UK museums are all spread out on one floor. Uh, some museums you have they're all they're spread out. Or they're, if they're a single, if they're in a if they're in a single tier building, it's quite a large building, and they're all spread out. Whereas Belgium, the buildings are actually the museums are in the the most of the museums are actually are multi tier buildings, and you've got the exhibits on the different floors. But either way, they're really good, um, and I could, I could go on for I could go I could go I could go on and on about this tour, about the tour because it was so good, um, so good, really well it was a such a good tour um um trip tour trip um the guide were the, the guide was very informative very no his knew his stuff to knew all the stuff he knew was very was precise and accurate um you know obviously it had a little bit of comedy humor he had it yeah he had a little he has he had a humorous side to him as well um but yeah um, I could go on for ages going on about the trip, but obviously I've got more to cover then as as uh, for my the reasons for my husband sort of thing. So yeah, I went to Belgium and then I came back from Belgium, started painting up the tiger and I painted it, painted it, painted it, and then of course I was getting I got it painted, ready to put the decals on. And then of course I went to um obviously in the summer obviously i went to um i went to florida for the th i went to florida with the went to florida to the for the theme parks in orlando with my with my with my mum and my sister her partner his brother and his brother his wife his brother his brother's wife and their two kids um for two weeks obviously so I couldn't get obviously whilst I was away, I couldn't get any modelling done there. Um, um, there and while so I was away. So yeah, and then obviously when I came back, I was getting ready to. Uh, obviously, I was getting ready. I was trying to. I was when I got back. Obviously, I was trying to. I was trying to. While well, I was waiting, I was trying to. Obviously, the reason there's been so much delay is because obviously, obviously the Tiger One was ready. The tie, the tiger one's figure was ready. What I was waiting for, what the the reason why there was so much for delay is because my tiger two, which you'll see in the next video, I was waiting to. I was trying to find the cupola. I was trying to find the cupola, the the command, the, the the commander's hatch and the commander's arm, which I lost um, by accident. Both of those items, by the way, for the tiger two. Um, so yeah. Uh, so then, yeah, I came back. Obviously, we got back, and obviously, I was getting. And then I thought, well, if I'm not, I thought I'm not going to find so much to do the videos. Unfortunately, unfortunately, um, obviously, in the summer of last year, my granddad was, my grandfather was diagnosed with asbestosis. Um, obviously, we were all hoping, we were all hoping that he'd. You know, it, it wouldn't. You know, that obviously we wouldn't. That obviously we that they wouldn't be taken away from us. But you know, and they but he'd be able to live as long as possible. But then, of course, um, you know, and he was all right for. He was all. He was still mobile and moving and all right for sort of like between August and September. But then, come October, um, late October. Very late in October, obviously, my granddad um, started got actually got in, in, uh, got chest started getting chest infections, and then from that point on, um, although the two tigers were ready for me to do a video on them, I 
just simply did not have the time to do them because I was pretty every time I you know I'd go out with my carer um I'd either come home from work or go out with my carer like I like I normally do and each time I came home and each time I've been out with my either come home from work or go out with my carer I'd pretty much been go I'd be, my mum would pick me up and then go to to take me back to my granddad's because I see my because I see if my mum needs to go out, my mum needed someone to be there for my granddad sort of thing. And then obviously just over, so over and over the course of November and then it's over the course of October, November and December of last year, obviously my, my granddad started to deteriorate very, very quickly. Um, started to deteriorate very quickly. Um, and then obviously in, um, and I'll see. And then I'll see in um, on Boxing Day of last, just start in the evening on on Boxing Day evening of last year. Boxing Day evening last year, obviously my, unfortunately my um, granddad passed away, gents and lady. Um, the lady in question, you know, because obviously I told you. But gents, for those of you who don't know, obviously my granddad did pass away last um did pass away last year um last december uh last year uh, boxing day of, of last year now so yeah and that's the other reason and that's the that's that's the but the final reason why i haven't been doing any videos is because obviously obviously after my granddad passed away i you know i obviously i took the photos and the video and shot the videos and shot the update ready for you to upload and then as i was getting and then as i was getting ready to upload the update and the photos the weekend just before the weekend just before we had my granddad's funeral which was last week um at the weekend just before my granddad's funeral which is last week uh two weeks ago now um obviously uh <laughs> my mum was making my old remember my mum was making my bed for me down there over there back there my mum would put it down my laptop by the boiler down there and obviously our boiler every now and then it has ha it has it have it has a habit of leaking condensate it's leaked condensate all over this con all the other way down the screw it's leaked on, my, on this is my old laptop not this not this not this new one um that you're filming from i'm filming from now by the way um it leaked all over the condens it leaked cold condensate all over the screen all the way down into the um the screen the pixel generators at the bottom at the very bottom of the screen which is covered by the plastic cover on the that's around the rim that re that that rip that runs around the screen um, of my old laptop, and then so I thought, well, I'll dry it out. I'll get some tissue. I'll dry it out. See what happens. Started off fine, and then it started going all funny. It started the color. The screen started going light, dark, and then I thought, and then my mum suggested to me to stick it in the airing. My old laptop in the old stick. My old laptop in up in the airing cupboard upstairs upstairs um so then i did that left it till sunday fired up sunday morning started off fine then it started doing the same thing as it did saturday uh late saturday afternoon of going all light going all light dark and then of course i reset it to see if i could help it if that would help but then of course what happened was it started going uh it just when it just, it started going light dark one side of the screen be going light one would be dark on my old laptop this is what i'm talking about here it'd be going light my old laptop screen would be going light dark it went red it went blue it went black it went white with these stripes of all different of all different kinds of colors you can imagine so yeah and then i thought well Rather than take it to PC World in Curry, uh, Curry's PC World in Canterbury to get it repaired, because by this point, of course, my laptop, my old laptop, 
that I uh, that I did many that that I up, that I did many videos and many uploads with um videos with I many uploaded many pictures and many videos with um my old laptop pretty much rather than get it repaired to repair the screen repair the hinge on my old, re repair it, my old laptops uh, repair it's my old laptop screen and the hinge and the wire connection to the uh the left and right uh, mouse buttons on my old laptop it, it was just cheaper to get a new laptop on which i've got now this is and this is what i'm filming from um obviously this is uh the, my new laptop that i've got now is a hp pavilion it's got uh you know it's got b and o speakers it's got a intel core 7 i i core i7 core eighth generation processor 16 give them 16 gigabyte of memory uh, it's got an nevada nvidia geforce graphics card so that i can play war thunder on it when i'm not um when i'm doing any filming work but ultimately of course the reason i've got this laptop gents is so that i could do both so i could play um so i could play game war thunder high graphic settings and obviously do high definition filming work as hopefully when i upload this video later this will be as high definition as you can get it um now i'll see you do get a webcam with this but unlike my last laptop which had a ucam 6 webcam with a cyberlink power director editing software which is what i used when I did, which I use, which, 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 which both of those things I used to film my updates. Um, this laptop had none of it. So I, so before I started filming, before I started doing, so I started, before I could get any, of, uh, any of the photos done and the video and this video I'm doing today filmed, I had to upload Cyberlink UCAM 8 to my laptop. Um, the free trial version i'll need to buy the free trial version i'll need to buy the product outright so i continue using it same with the cyberlink power director which is on my right hand corner of my screen as you look at it as, as i'm looking at it from here obviously you can't see this obviously you cannot see my 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 screen all you can see is me looking at is me looking at the camera talking to you fine people so yeah, that is the long reason, very long listed reason, that is the very long big chunk reason of why you've not seen me for the last year and a half, for, for the latter half, since you, since, since you haven't seen me since late of April last year. I am so sorry it's been such a long, it's, it's taken, I'm really sorry gents that it's taken this long while, but obviously as far as, as far as my, um, as far as, and like I say, it couldn't, for, you know, it really, it, you know, as far as the latter half of last year, it I really, I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't, it couldn't be helped, obviously. You know, you guys, you guys all know, those of you that have got parents and grandparents and those of you that have got families know that obviously, those of you that have got, fa those of you that know me that have also got family, know that obviously when it comes when when a family member takes ill you you know you put modeling to a side family always comes first right anyway enough of that it's time for me to go because otherwise this is going to be an hour long update because i'm the only reason i know that's because i'm looking at the recording timer at the top of the right hand corner of the uh, webcam recording screen thing anyway enough of all that i've now got to let you find people go because i've got to get the tiger 2 down to where i film the where i showed you my tiger 1 down there so i can bring you the tiger 1 the tiger 2 final reveal all right before i not so before i go Usual, usual ending of paint your hands and face, glue your hands and face.
don't know your parents. Be good for them. Stay safe. Be happy. Have fun. And enjoy modeling. And until the next time, and until my next video, which will, until my next video, which, until the next video, which will, my next two, my next three videos, which will be the update, the final update. And until the next, until the final reveal on this, on the Tiger One, on this Tiger, on the Tiger One. Thank you very for watching. Thank you for watching for thank you very watching for the for watching this video, and I'll see you guys on the next video on, and I'll see you guys next time on the final reveal of the Tiger One. And all that remains to be said is uh, well, thank you for watching, gents and lady, and I'll see you guys on the next on the next um, Tiger on the on the final reveal of the. I'll see you guys on the next video, on the next three videos, which are the Tiger, which are the fight, which is the Tiger 2 final update, the, the final update of the Tiger 2 pre-production, the final reveal of the Tiger 1, which will be either today, later on today or tomorrow, and I'll see the final reveal of the Tiger 2. But anyway, bye gentlemen and lady. Thank you what uh, and once again thank you for watching for thank you for thanks for, thanks thank you for very much much thank you very much for watching and subscribing to my channel and I'll see you guys on my next few video on the next few on the and I'll see you guys on my next uh, on the next few videos that I that I'm going to bring that I'll be bringing to you hopefully as not as long as it's taken to do this video um yeah so I'll see you next time all right bye bye gents bye gents and lady Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.